Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, Lieutenant Chris Helmick is going to provide you some information regarding the shooting that occurred at the Arbors yesterday. He oversees our um, criminal investigations unit. Ready to start? Okay. Yes. All right, I'm going to read a statement about yesterday's incident. Uh, yesterday, on Sunday, January 24th, Parker police officers responded to a shooting that occurred at the Arbors which is located at 704 23rd Street South at 9.55 a.m. Witnesses stated that a female victim had been injured and transported away from the scene prior to the arrival of officers. Shortly after, officers were notified by a local hospital that a female with gunshot wounds had been dropped off. That female was identified as Ophelia Quay, 24 years old. 24 years old of Fargo. At, at the hospital, security video helped detectives identify a male that was with Quay. This male was identified as Jerome Wessa Kuhn. Kuhn left the hospital prior to officers arriving on scene. Uh, Ophelia's injuries at this time do not appear to be life threatening, and no further information regarding her condition will be released. The vehicle suspected of transporting Quay to the hospital was located, abandoned, in the 2500 block of Villa Drive South by a Fargo officer. Kuhn was found hiding in another vehicle in the same parking lot. A firearm was also recovered at the scene. Kuhn was detained at that time and brought to the department for questioning. Detectives and officers worked the case throughout the day which consisted of conducting interviews, gathering evidence, and serving search warrants on two residences. One of these warrants required the assistance of the Red River, Red River Valley SWAT team. During a search of one of the residences, detectives located a young four or five year old child that had been left alone for an undetermined amount of time. Detectives also seized narcotics at that same location. The child was uninjured and placed into the custody of <coughs> Cass County Social Services. Kuhn was arrested for the following charges, aggravated reckless endangerment, felon in possession of a firearm, and felony tampering with evidence. Detectives will continue to investigate this incident and are looking into several other people of interest. We believe there were multiple people involved with this incident but we don't know the exact nature or motive yet. Until we are unable, or until we are able to identify and arrest the persons responsible for this incident, there is a threat to the safety of the public. We ask that all citizens stay alert to their surroundings and report any suspicious activi activity immediately. If you have any information regarding this incident and the persons involved, you are urged to call Fargo PD investigations at 701-241-1431 or text keyword Fargo PD and your tip to 847-411. The Fargo Police Department would like to thank the property management of the Arbors for their assistance and cooperation throughout the initial investigation. The Fargo PD is thankful for the community's ongoing interest in assisting with our investigations to help keep the Fargo community a safe place to live, work, and visit. I will now take a few questions. Do you think Mr. Kuhn is the one who pulled the trigger and shot the woman, or do you think that is one of the other people being sought? Uh, at this point, we're not sure of that. Um, and we're still gonna be looking into that as part of the investigation. Yeah. Is uh, Mr. Kuhn and uh, Quay, are they domestically involved and has there been a history of violence at all? Uh, we believe that they are in a dating relationship. As far as their history, I couldn't tell you that right now. Yeah. What leads you to believe that the public is in danger? Usually we don't hear that from, you know, you guys. What, what in this case, though, leads you to believe that? At this point, we believe that other people are involved in the shooting. And uh, uh, at this point, we think there were multiple people that actually fired shots. Uh, so until we get those people identified and figure out what was going on and, and uh, potentially getting people in custody, we feel that the public needs to know that uh, these people are still at large. Okay. Um, 
How much is uh, who cooperating at, at all, and how much um, information has uh, Quake been able to uh, provide? Uh, I'm not going to be able to answer that question. How many shots were fired? Uh, at this point, we believe four. Uh, the child, does that belong to Kuhn and Quay, or do you know who the child belongs uh, to? We're still working on that. Do you think the child was left behind while the shooting happened? Uh, we're not sure about that. There was a shooting that happened in December at that same Arbor's apartment. Does that have any correlation to that? Uh, we don't know that at this point. I actually talked to a couple people that live, and they're actually moving out of that building, that complex, today about their fears what do you kind of tell the people that are living in those apartments now? Is this kind of being like a reoccurring thing, as you just mentioned? Right. December was the last time this kind of happened, too. Right. What do you say to those people? Well, I've talked to the uh, lieutenant who's in charge of that district, and he reports that the management of that complex have been very cooperative and willing to work with police in improving the security of that building or that, uh, that apartment complex. And so I think it's important that the citizens that live there know that the management is aware of the issues and the concerns and that they're working very closely with us to address those. Okay. Yeah. Any motive, excuse me, any motive for the shooting, domestic, drug related? We don't know that at this point. And is Mr. Kuhn the one who actually brought her to the hospital then? Yeah. That uh, yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, you said multiple people involved. Can you give a number and also are they still in the area or should other people in the surrounding areas be watching for them? I don't, I'm not really answer that question for you. All right, thank you everybody for coming.